Probably one of the most recognizable pieces of dive gear to a non-diver is the scuba tank. Now a lot of people seem to think that they're filled with oxygen and they call them oxygen tanks, but they're not. They're filled with plain old air, just like the air I'm breathing now, except it's compressed to a very high pressure so you can carry a whole bunch of it underwater with you. This is what we call an aluminum 80. That means it has 80 cubic feet of air in it. That's about as much air as you have in your closet. And you squish it down really small into a scuba tank that you can take underwater with you. Now, this thing is compressed to 3,000 PSI. There's no way you can breathe directly from this tank. I mean, listen. Whoa! I mean, that's a lot of pressure. You need something to bring that pressure down so that you can breathe it. And that's where this little baby comes in. This is a regulator. The part that connects to the tank is called the yoke. Tighten it down. And then, you can see when I turn it on, I watch this pressure gauge. And there's the pressure coming up. So now I can see that my tank has more than 3,000 PSI in it. This is a nice full one. And there's two important parts of this regulator. The first stage right here drops the pressure from the 3,000 in the tank to what's called an intermediate pressure, which is about 200 PSI. And then the second stage, which also has the mouthpiece on it, the second stage drops the pressure to what's called ambient. And that's whatever pressure you happen to be at right now. Standing here on the dock, it's one atmosphere. <laughs> But if I go down to 100 feet, it's going to be much higher pressure under, under the water. So this thing will compensate and provide higher pressure air so that I can always inhale no matter what depth I go to. It's actually a very simple and reliable but effective system. So Luke, I am your father. <laughs>